Hello students and welcome to the next lesson in our AS Physical Geography course. Today we're going to be looking at river energy. River energy. Rivers are going to erode because they possess energy. Now the level that the river has of energy is going to depend on a number of factors. However now we're just going to look at the two main types of energy in a river. The first type is kinetic energy and this is the energy that a river has due to movement. The second type is gravitational potential energy, or GPE. This is the energy that a river has depending on its position. If a river is located higher upstream, it's going to have more gravitational potential energy because it has the potential to then move downstream further on. However, if it's located downstream, it's going to have less gravitational potential energy because it has less of a potential to then have gravity push it down downstream because there's not as much stream left. Now there's a number of factors which are going to affect river energy. The first one is weight. The greater the weight and size of a river, the greater its energy is. Now this is because the gravity is simply pushing more weight down, so as a result there's a greater force on the beds and banks which is then going to erode it. Next is the steepness of the channel. Now the steeper the channel, the faster the water is going to flow down the river because gravity is pushing more of it down at a faster rate. As a result, since the water is moving faster, the power of kinetic energy is greater and more of the channel will be eroded. Next up is height. The height of the river means that there's more gravitational potential energy inside it. So as a result, it has more of potential to then erode and therefore greater energy. What I've done now is I've put on some questions on the slide. What I would like you to do is have a go to answering them and then whenever you're ready, move on to see the answers. Okay, so here are the answers. If you did get both of them right, congratulations. I would advise you to move on to the next video. However, if you did not, just simply pause the video and go over your notes or rewind to check where you went wrong. This has been the end of the lesson. As always, thank you so much for watching and join us next time where we'll be looking at river transport. If you have any more questions or information you would like, be sure to check out AS Physical Geography at www.revisealevel.co.uk. Until then, I will see you next time. Goodbye.